The party don't stop, stop till we say it's through, through. So take a shot of this and p- p- pass it round the room and let's bounce off the wall like racket ball. Off the wall like racket ball. Bounce off the wall like racket ball. Off the wall like racket ball. The party don't stop, stop till we say it's through, through. So take a shot of this and p- p- pass it round the room and let's go off the wall like racket ball. Off the wall like What is good? We're back with another 12 Hub review on a pair of shoes that I've been holding on to since September um, and decided to pull the trigger on another colorway of the ISPA Air Max 720. I pulled out both shoes here just so you know y'all could see um, the two colorways that they released. Now, when this first came out um, in September, it was a limited run. Uh, I guess they were market testing it. I'm not sure how it worked out, but um, a few select boutique retailers out in Europe got them first. Um, I copped mine off of sneakers and stuff. It literally sat for a few weeks, and I was like looking and looking. I'm like, I want the shoe. I want the shoe. Um, shout out to sneakers. Uh, sneaker news for dropping the dime on this one when it first, you know, when they first announced it, it had some really nice pictures on their site of it. But um, yeah, I'm a big fan of the 720 uh, Air Max. I've worn these already, as you can see, the white ones. Um, move you out the way. Uh, the 720 is uh, arguably one of my favorite silhouettes. The I only cop one pair um, because I don't want to OD on <laughs> copping pairs of one silhouette and only rocking a few of the colorways um shout out to the retro air hirachis that i od'd on back in 2018 but these right here man when i saw these come out i was like yeah this is different i definitely gotta go holla at them um working off of the ispa motto um of doing a rugged urban uh, utility shoe. Um, this one definitely, you know, some of their, some of the ones that they put out, they say are water resistant. You know, I got the first iteration. Those aren't water resistant, man. My, I went out in the rain and them, like my sock got wet. But they are rugged. They're lightweight and comfortable. That's one thing from the ISPA um, reacts that came out to this. This is way more comfortable than the. Um, original 720 and it fits more true to size now so uh, you know my last videos the well, last video I told you all I had a wide foot and I this one definitely is wide foot friendly uh, mainly because of the materials the, mes the mesh up here is more breathable it expands better around the foot um, this faux suede stuff uh, gives it more of you know premium a little bit I, th actually, this is, I think this is the same materials that they use on the Air Max 270 it's not like suede it's more of like a cloth type of thing or, or um, man, I can't even think of the word right now I'll put it on the screen when you see it later felt 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 yeah it's like more like a felt right here and then um, just what's crazy about it is it, it's, it's super ventilated so you know if you're wearing these in the winter time definitely wear thick pair of socks um, but <laughs> Just the pod, yo. Like the first day I put, I took these out in the street. Got a couple of looks, a couple of compliments, um, and it touched my heart when a child came up to me and said, "I like your shoes," and I was like, "Yes." The youth, impacting the youth. <laughs> so these joints are definitely official. I love them. They kind of they go with anything. Jeans. Uh, I, I'd suggest wearing cargos. Um, 
or um, sweats with these because they have that athletic look to them. And biggest highlight, and I'm gonna flip both of them over on these, is the, the, the outsole. Way more grip, way more function than the original 720s. If you know anything about the Air Max 720, um, the shoe is, you slip, I, I slipped in the rain in them, like, cause the, the, the sole on them is, um, it doesn't have the best traction. Uh, it's built more for like very casual, I would just say it's a summer shoe to be honest with you. These are more like, you know, all, all season tire type of shoe. They got this weird thing in the back here. This is the black but I haven't worn these yet. This right here, I don't know what it's for, but they have replaceable ones. Uh, I believe the black pair comes with these orange and a green one, and the white pair comes with a blue and a white. Uh, I've switched out. They came with the blue on there. I just switched it out for the white because at the time I was not rocking a blue anything. So I was like, let me just try to get as white as possible on this. The only thing I would say and why um, I think it was tougher to sell the black is because of this green right here. That is one of the uh, factors that um, kind of almost deterred me from buying them. But it's not that bad now that I have them in hand. Like, I, if it was all black, this would be a definite, like, let's go. But this, this green right here... It was a little off-putting. Um, Nike did this too with the Gore-Tex Air Force Ones. The low, I think the lows and the highs. They did the the black with the green, which is sort of, I guess, a military type of look. But whatever. Haven't rocked these yet. Um, I got you know a couple of sweaters that can go with this, and you know I'll take some some pictures and those. Uh, the big thing that made this thing very appealing to the masses is uh, Kanye. Kanye went out and <laughs> tried these on first time I think in years that we've seen Kanye in a Nike um, and that was uh, right before right around Thanksgiving time I think or a little after Thanksgiving I don't know but this this released in the US um, over Thanksgiving break around I think on the 25th to 26th um, and uh, it didn't sell out on Nike or anything. I know a few stores got them I, uh, in both colorways. But uh, when Kanye wore the white one, you go on Nike.com right now, it's almost sold out. You know what I'm saying? So the hype is definitely building around us. I feel it's going to be one of those sleeper shoes that people are going to like realize is hype and dope when, um, when they see you know a few more reviews like this and, and, and some more on feet. Because they do look great on feet, in my opinion. Other than that, I don't know, you know, people out here, you know, they, they, they if you don't know how to put a fit together, there's no reason why you buying $200 shoes and stuff, because it's all about what you put around the shoe, not necessarily the shoe. Don't don't believe all that that BS about, yeah, if you, you could be wearing like torn up jeans and and, and, and dirty shirts and, and, and old sweats, and just as long as you got some hot shoes on, you're, you're, you're the man. No, don't work that way say 19 whatever and we don't live in the country out here these are these are city shoes city walkers right i am gonna do something crazy though i am gonna go out with a black and a white one on take some video see what's good that'll be later on but i'm gonna have <laughs> probably these two pairs there's these these two right here i mean put them on either foot and uh, and and see what's good because you know I, I do it for the gram it's gonna be a great thing i have a nice little fit with it um you know Maybe a black top and a white sweat, or a white top and a black sweat, or a short, or one black sock and one white sock. I'm gonna do something crazy. Uh, I'm ready, you know, to figure out a way to freak this and make it look real nice. But yeah, overall, I give these, I don't wanna say a 10 out of 10, I'm gonna give them an 8 out of 10, just, just because I like weird shit. Um, I do love, you know, the fact that they do have a bit more function than the original 720 more rugged like i said probably better for you know all day use uh, i've been you know last five or six days i've been wearing these a lot uh and it's been you know uh, no 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 problems my feet feel great and um um the big problem with the 720s before that i've had is that uh when i try to go true to size uh, or at least on the pair that I have, uh, the two pairs, um, 
they are a little snug in the toe box area and I always have a little bit of irritation and pain in the front. These I had zero, zero pain. Like they were super comfortable that, you know, that uh, feeling that people say when you have the 720s on that weird feeling like you're a little elevated and sort of cloud-like but not as comfortable as React. Yeah, it's true. Uh, but they were super comfortable. I wore them all day, walked around in them for a while. Uh, second, third time, not a problem once they were broken in. Materials are nice and everything. So, look, drop a like, subscribe, tell us what's good. We're going to do a little giveaway soon. Um, I got a pair of Yeezy slides I need to get rid of. Um, the resin ones, size 12, uh, for the 12 hub. They will be out there soon. So look out for that giveaway on our Instagram once those come in. Um, I bought them for myself personally, but I realized that with slides, it's tricky, especially when they fit narrow. And then after I saw some early reviews of them, I think they're going to fit a little bit narrow. So uh, I'm going to go look for a size 13 for myself and put those on and give away a size 12 to one of y'all lucky people out there who want to get in. So holla at us, like, subscribe, follow us on the gram, follow us on the YouTube, and follow us on Facebook, The 12 Hub. Peace. Stop playing, baby, tell me what you wanna do